been working for the same company for over 30 years uh, and uh, we do uh, polished concrete floors and uh, I work with a great bunch of guys you know and the work itself like it's, it's, it's a physical job but it's, it's, it's a very rewarding job as well. The beauty of working in contraction as well is like my rewards is like paint, wood, screws, nails on the, on the building site, it's always there. So I'm always, I'm always bringing home bits of rubbish, bits of wood. When I moved to this house, all right, one of the, one of the beautiful, things, beautiful things about this house was the garden. It's like, this is my tree. I love this tree, you understand? And me and this tree, so like, we kind of just link together, you know? And it's just me just paying homage to, to nature and, and the trees and, and our, our, our universe. And just, I mean, just enjoying, enjoying what's, what's there. And just enjoying nature and just having fun with it. What happens is I get an idea and I start. I mean, it gets to a stage where it takes over and it, and it, 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 and it, it runs and it's taking me on a journey and, I, and I'm having fun. It's like a relationship. You start a relationship, right? You're having fun. And every day you love it. You just, when you finish work, you just rush home to it. You just want, you just want to be with it. You just want to do with it. I love cellos and violins. I love the song that comes from them. To me, it's very relaxing. It's very like therapeutic. And that's why I, I've, like I said, I just love listening to classical music. Kind of like, it just kind of makes me Relax, just put me on ease. Like, like usually, sometimes when I'm working, right? it's just it's very, very relaxing. I remember, like, when we had the uh, the virus, the coronavirus virus, about two, three years ago. Uh, I remember what happened was, uh, I was diagnosed with cancer, all right, and uh, to me, it's the same cancer that killed my dad, and. When, when, when I was diagnosed, it scared the shit out of me. It really, and I thought, shit, that I'm gonna go the same way as my dad, you know? That, that was my first thought, you know? But, somebody said to me, might be positive, you know? And, I mean, I've had, I've had my, my treatment, my radiotherapy treatment, and uh, so, touch wood, so far so good. We can't get away from nature, it's everywhere. It's like I said, when you come into my shed, it's a bit like this is like I said, this is my this is my therapy. Like when I come in here I just cut off from the outside world and just indulge in in, in, in my surroundings. And, and to me, all three of them they, they tend to work together, art, music and nature. Basically with me I just cut myself off and uh, I mean like I said, I'm I'm a bit like I'm like a sponge. And I just open up my head and, and just what 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 whatever energies come in, whatever I'm told to do, I'm just doing it. You know, I'm, I'm basically like I said, I'm, I'm there to be used, and I'm by the spirits, the universe, whatever. I was born in Barbados in 1955 and if you've ever been to Barbados, <laughs> I mean the country itself is very luscious, green, blue beaches. It, I mean it's just, it's, it's, like I said, nature is something we can't get away from. It's always there. It's always, it's always with us.
diagnosed with cancer two years ago and without, without my heart, I don't know where I would be because to me, that's what's kept me going. It's my best form of therapy. And the fact is being diagnosed with cancer is, is, is more or less, it's brought everything to the forefront. And it's made you more appreciative of your surroundings and, and where you are and, and what you're doing. My dad came to this country in 1955 because actually when my dad came over here I was about six, six months old and uh, my dad was, a, he was like a workaholic. He, 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 he loved work, you know. And uh, my dad took early retirement, went home to Barbados, built, built, built a nice massive family home for the, for the family. He lived in, lived in the house for one year, took sick, cancer, all right? And uh, my dad died about 20, so 24 years ago, died of prostate cancer. And I made the, the two crucifixions in memory of my dad. Because even, like, sometimes even, even when I'm in my shed, I can still feel my dad's, my dad's presence. Years ago, I actually went, I had my, my palm weighed and the chap who did it said to me uh, he's got a message from my dad and he said to me uh, the message was uh, my dad said to him that whatever I'm doing he wants to be part of it Cancer is something like it puts things into perspective it kind of makes you enjoy life even more it's something that you're up against, but you're not you're not giving in. You're staying positive. And you're just being who you are. You just it's like you just want to just, wanna, just get on with life. Don't don't just sit back and mourn. Just get on with life. You know, just just do it. Because I mean, listen, we're only on this earth just for a short space of time, right? So just just get on with it. Be who you are, and just keep going. And that's it.